Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Submarines are called silent killers or hunters in the water. They stay quiet underwater, undetected and perform surprise attack on enemy warships, submarines or even ground-based targets using ballistic missiles. The biggest strength of a submarine is its ability to stay in water and remain undetected. But the problem with a diesel electric submarine is that it must resurface daily for oxygen required for fuel combustion. When the submarine comes out on the surface, their likelihood of detection increases and they are vulnerable to attack. The same problem is not there with nuclear powered submarines, but they are competitively less stealthy than diesel attack submarines. A nuclear submarine's reactor needs to constantly pump coolant which generates some amount of detectable noise. While nuclear-powered submarines still dominate in submergence times and deep ocean performance, the small high-tech diesel electric attack submarines are highly effective in coastal operations and pose a significant threat to less stealthy and less maneuverable nuclear submarines. The Air Independent Propulsion or AIP technology reduces the dependency of a diesel electric submarine on surface air. AIP gives a small tickle charge to constantly top up the submarine's battery but not enough to fully charge it up like a diesel engine. However, it is enough to slow down the battery drain. With AIP fitted submarines, the charge in battery can last up to several days or a week when compared to a non-AIP based submarine where charge lasts only for 15 to 12 hours. A typical conventional power plant provides 3 MW maximum and an AIP source around 10% of that. AIP does not normally provide the endurance or power to replace atmospheric dependent propulsion but allows longer submergence than a conventional propelled submarine. If we talk in technical terms, AIP is an electrolytic fuel cell that releases energy by combining hydrogen and oxygen with only water as a byproduct. These cells are highly efficient and do not have moving parts, which ensures a low acoustic signature for submarines. Now, if we talk about DRDO's AIP, it has developed the AIP system by providing the land based prototype on 8th March 2021. The plant was operated in endurance mode and max power mode as per the user requirement. The DRDO's fuel cell based AIP uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate the electricity. The DRDO's fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. The 270 kW fuel cell based AIP will begin to be fitted on the Scorpion class submarines. While there are different types of AIP system being pursued internationally, fuel cell based AIP of DRDO is unique as hydrogen is generated on board. The AIP will be retrofitted into existing submarine hulls by inserting an additional hull section. Now, talking about its latest update, in an exclusive conversation with Financial Express Online, the DRDO chief said when the boat comes up for retrofitting in 2025, here we are talking about the Scorpion class submarine, it will be fitted with indigenous AIP which has been made in India by DRDO and Indian industry. Now as it has been reported by Financial Express Online, all submarines under Project 75 Calvary class will be fitted with AIP when they come up for their first upgrades starting from 2025. Earlier, the date for the first submarine to come up for upgrade was mentioned by top officials as 2023 and now it is being observed to be delayed by almost two years. As per the DRDO chief, the work is going on to develop a module which has to be fitted on the submarine when it comes. There are industry partners including LNT, Thermax, and the Naval Materials Research Laboratory NMRL of DRDO which has developed this. The AIP which is being developed here in India is based on the specifications and the requirements shared by end user which is Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. 
we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.